Hi, Super Spruce here, back with our Answer Round Adventures New Game Plus 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 video, episode 127. And it's been a while since I recorded last episode, I just didn't have the time. Oh, yeah, I'm crunching to grind neutrinos. I should probably stop doing that, and that'll get more tachyon particles. I I've, I've been doing this, I've just been trying to grind as many neutrinos as possible. And there's that. I do want to get enough quarks to start Tree of Decay, because... Because this is really, this this is the next big thing. I'm going to be unlocking Tree of Decay. I'm actually, I'm up to E151 Tachyon Particles, which is really good. Maybe I can get even more. I don't think Nanofield's going to do much. Like, this study isn't even, okay, now it's starting to do stuff, but I don't think it's going to be all that powerful. If I want more than 16 rewards, because if you go here to Nanofield, 17th reward is just useless. And, I mean, these... Could help, but I don't think they're going to help all that much. Tree of Decay. I've heard Tree of Decay is the thing that really eats your quantums up. There's um, there's almost nothing you can do about it. It just it just takes... It, they really do eat your quantums up. So I, I have 50 quantums. If I want to get the 100 times milestone, which I'm starting to think could be actually possible, I, I'm going to need to do more than just... I, I, I'm going to need to go through tree of decay very efficiently so i'm just gonna check quarks i do i want do want to go for error 404 again just because i think actually i'm gonna do that a little later i'm gonna do that in a later tree of decay phase where i where i have just more boosts because last time that didn't work out i'm not really sure how i can do it it seems impossible but whatever uh, and we're getting, we're gonna be getting red, which is which is gonna be pretty good. So I'm over E308, but since I already have the features, um, the quality of life features, I don't get anything for E308. So I wish I got an upgrade, but I can gain this many unstable quarks. That that's pretty sad. <laughs> it's not even a full unstable quarks. That I I can't I can't speak. It's not even a full unstable quark. This, these are just, these are like, these are just half quarks. Like, if that's even possible, I'm going to press U, and that's going to give me, um, like, about five quark spin, which is not enough to do anything. That's 7.2 or 7.3 quark spin. That is not enough spin if I really want to start really advancing in Tree of Decay. I, I'm... It's sort of funny just because it's just like, it's like no, it's like no, no quark spin at all. Like that, that's, that's very different than the way, like when I unlocked the tree of decay, that, that, that was very different. Maybe we can get, I'm thinking we can possibly try to get the study that um, makes meta dimension boosts cheaper and that could help a little bit. Like, I actually do want to make a meta antimatter build for this. So, it's going to be most, it's just going to really be primarily meta antimatter. So, it's not really going to be going for much else. I will get some other things. But, like, this is just going to be a meta antimatter build. Just, just this is going to be new preset. Um,. And it's just meta antimatter. I'm just it's mostly just making the meta dimension boost cheaper. I know I know it's not as efficient as, as usual, but like now if I go to my usual build, I'm probably gonna have more meta dimension boosts than I would have had. That's like so it could help me in the long run. I'm not sure why my meta dimensions are still oh, I need to eternity. I always forget that I need to eternity for me to actually start making real um, progress. So this gives me just like a few more meta dimension boosts, which sort of helps like supercharge the quarks, even though it doesn't really feel like that. It doesn't feel like I'm supercharging anything. It just feels like it still feels slow at this point, unfortunately. I'm not, I think because Tree of Decay is the only thing that's not really boosted in Ghostify. So, yeah, that's unfortunate, but it's something I just have to live with. And, like, in the meantime, I could just... I, I could grind 
neutrinos to try to get some of the upgrades because that they could really help. Also, I haven't even done my like. I didn't even do this last quantum. Somehow, I just forgot about this. He might have been screaming at me. But, never fear. I'm doing it now. Also, cork doublers. I might have even forgotten that. I might have made a blunder. I forgot my cork doublers. That's why. I made a big blunder there. Scream, is, scream at me all you want. But, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I can be just extremely stupid. I have no, you know, no idea why. But, Sometimes I am just really stupid with stuff, which means I, I can probably quantum here without much trouble. It's going to give me one and a half unstable quarks. That's still nowhere near enough if I want to get anything done. It's going to go back to quarks and gluons to see if I can get anything. I don't, th I don't think I have any decent gluons, unfortunately. So I think... I just need to dilate time, get the tree of decay going, even though it's not going to do much. I'm going to go up to like 20 unstable quarks. Um, they now last a little bit longer, but like this is what I mean by like tree of decay eating your quantums up. It's basically, it's it's like you just really need to, uh, they just like, you need to quantum in order to get spin. And if you don't quantum, you're not going to get that spin, unfortunately. It's something It's something you just have to deal with and accept, which is... It's really tough to just deal with this and accept it. Spe especially when... When you know it's, like, hurting your chances of actually getting... Like, like getting the 100 times milestone or something. Not sure if it's the wisest idea to be grinding neutrinos right now, but... I mean, it could work. Who knows? I mean, sometimes it may just, like, be something I can do. Just wait a little bit, and then I can, like, dilate to get some more tachyon particles. And then um, I can I can go to my other build that helps. It's really just, like, this other build is just for um, getting meta dimension boosts. That's literally it. There, there's no other reason why I would use this build. It's, it's just a pure meta dimension build. I'm just like trying to get as much cork, as many corks as I can. That that That's really what, what the point of this build is. I I sort of, just, I don't think I really need this. I, this branches are faster, but I don't think it's going to give, um, give me any more spin. It's just going to make it happen faster. So, once I get 264 in the build, I'll do that, and it feels like I'll have a max out tree. Like, that that's what it's going to feel like. And I, and eventually, maybe I can even get this, like, in the main build. But that, that's still going to take, it's going to take a while. And if it doesn't even feel like I'm getting any quirks, I, I, I have no, oh, I, I'm really stupid sometimes. I remember, you have to, lo, you have to eternity. I, I'm trying to think, if, if you go to Mastery Studies... I, I, I'm probably just loading instead of Eternity and Load. I, I need to click Eternity and Load. I, like, seriously, I, I, ne I need to be smarter. But, <laughs> I mean, it feels like I'm smart, and then I just, like, keep messing up here, like, so many times that, that it's like, I just feel so stupid sometimes. But, I'm going to be going to E151, and really, there's actually not much to recall much to record at this point it's just me grinding tree of decay so like unlike everything else it's just like exciting and fast i'm gonna be i'm gonna be um doing a lot of off camera progression so like i'm gonna be getting these upgrades i will be focusing on the second and third upgrades and actually there's, there's a new thing reset to make first upgrade stronger but nerf this branch whatever that means Requires E1 quadrillion of red unstable quarks. I don't know how I didn't notice this, but I, I've heard I've heard of this thing called radioactive decays, like like in like the Discord and everything, and it seemed like a tree decay buff, but who knows? We it it does seem like a reset. It's only a it seems like a branch reset. It doesn't seem like a tree reset, but who who knows? 
when it's going to be. That's going to... I've heard that doesn't come until way later. Like, probably, like, episode 140 or something. So, yeah. that um, That's that. I think I do have a decent amount of quarks at this point. It's going to give me, a like, an actually decent amount of gluons when I, when I, when I can actually... Yeah, gluons. Why can't I get any gluons? Oh, it's oh I know why. It's because I'm I'm stabilizing my quarks. Wow, it's actually especially painful. I'm I'm realizing you either unstabilize your quarks or you go for the gluons. You have to choose one, <laughs> and that's frustrating. That is, I I'm still not sure if I I pro I'll, I'm I probably will not unstabilize here because it's gonna give me. Actually, this is this could help me. So I actually will. I mean, I'm not sure how useful this is. Rather, I'm just going to try one quantum without unstabilizing. And just see, see what happens. Like, just like going for gluons. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm really just going to need to jump to like E570. I, I, I really need more quarks. I'm, I'm not sure. It's multiplied by 2 and then raised to the power. Actually, honestly... Unstabilizing is going to be better because that, that getting this in all of my of my branches is going to be really useful. So I'm just I'm really just trying to maximize my quarks. I may even do a nano field run um, like tomorrow, and I'll probably be doing a lot of off camera progression. But yeah, here it is. Gain of of unstable quarks is I, I I'm going to have more of that. So that's going to help. That that's really. It's gonna help, but anyway, I'm probably rambling on and on. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, like two days later, as you can see, and I've just been doing more neutrino grinding, and I can I can actually get a another upgrade, blue power boost prion charge production, which is 5.74 times, which is I mean it's not like crazy, but it's it, it helps. So I'm going to actually um, get this going. I'm just, it's going to hurt just a little bit, so maybe I can... I don't know why I have Respect Mastery Studies next to Turn Neon. I can dilate time to see if I can get anything more. It doesn't look like I can really get a substantial amount of tachyon particles, but I ignored this. I'm really, really close to this, so I'm probably just going to wait for that, unless it takes a long time. Okay, no, it's not going to take a long time. That, that, that's triple the amount, and it's actually even a... Tachyon particle formula is better here, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit just and so I can get more tachyon particles. Okay, I got the tachyon particle formula is better upgrade that gives me over two orders of magnitude of tachyon particles, which will really help with time theorem production. But really, we're gonna just go into a nano field build, which is gonna be essentially this build, except that it includes these. This is E98, so actually I. I do have to drop like a couple of the studies to get it. So now that since I have this, I'm going to get this and it's going to hurt it only a little bit though. And now what I, I can do, I can eternity and go into, it's just, this, this is nano field. That's what it means. What prion energy means because I'm going to, I really want to minimize my quant, my quantums, and I think just getting more nano field rewards, especially with getting more prion charge per second, it's going to be, I, I can wait overnight and get probably 19 rewards. I'm not sure if I can get, t if I can get 20, that would be, um, I would really, really want 20, but it's really hard. I've tried like two day nano field runs to get 20 rewards, and I wasn't even close. So I can still probably get um, 18 or 19. I'm probably gonna get 19 or, over overnight. Also, um, people, people are um, I almost forgot about these the automator ghosts. I have no idea what these do. I don't think they're really all that useful at this point. Like they're automating the, some of the tree decay things. But I'm trying to minimize quantum, so it's better just to do it manually for now. There'll be a time eventually, like probably 10 to 20 episodes from now, where Yes, it will be best to automate all this, but right now, 
I still prefer to do things manually. And and that, that's really okay. I'm get I still have no prion an anti energy, and I'm getting almost a billion prion energy per second. So this is look looking pretty good. I'm not sure how much I can really get because of the scaling past 16 rewards. So I mean I'll just see what happens overnight. So and and just. To keep you on a cliffhanger, I'm going to end the episode now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.